Hey my beautiful angels, welcome back to another video. My name is Angie and for today's look we're going to be using the May BoxyCharm. So in this box I received the Glam and Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser, a Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in Berry and Me, which is kind of like a dark burgundy, and then the Ciate London Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Cupid. And this has like pink and gold reflexes. It's actually really, really pretty. And it does come with an applicator. I also receive a mellow brow definer. It is two-sided. One has a pencil and the other side has a spoolie. And then the Olimar Blush Trio. This box didn't come with an eyeshadow palette. So I'm using last month's eyeshadow palette, which I have not used. The Pure Cosmetics Festival palette. So here I am just patting my face dry after using the Glam and Glow Bubble Cleanser and then applying my moisturizing gel from Clinique. And I did like the Glam and Glow Cleanser. It actually cleaned my skin very, very nice and it was very gentle as well. So I'm going in with the Brow Definer by Melo and I'm using the spoolie first. So I didn't like this eyebrow pencil. It was a little bit too, I don't know how to describe it, but it was just tugging at my skin. And I felt like if I kept using it, it was eventually going to catch on to some of my hairs and pull it off. I'm used to my Urban Decay Brow Blade, which is a lot more gentle and it glides way easier. As you can see, one side has the pencil and the side has a pen. And in this clip, you can see that this is so much more gentle. It's not tugging on my skin. So I decided not to use the Mellow Brow Definer. It was just not, not for me. So here I'm going in with an M330 in the shade Wild Child from the Pure, Pure Cosmetics palette. And I'm just packing it on. I'm not blending it out yet I'm just getting the color onto my lid and then blending it out and this is going to be pretty much our um, transition color just making sure that everything is blended out bringing it into my inner corner now I forgot to show the clip but I did use also the shade gypsy which is that purple shadow and that was just um, put into my crease now here I am using the cream shadow and cupid and I am doing like a half moon shape. So it's I'm starting off with like a half cut crease and then bringing it down um, and creating like that half moon as you can see right there. And this shade was really really pretty. I like this shade and it is the shade cupid. So here I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara on my lashes and then I'm going to be applying my lashes as well. So here I did some of my face off camera and here I'm showing you that I used the shade Paraiso from the Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio. It's like this very peachy shade. And then I'm using the Artist Couture Highlighter in Purple Dream. This was in last month's BoxyCharm. So I went ahead and used it because it did go with the look. It has pink and purple and a bit of gold reflex. So I thought it went really good with this look. So here I used Gypsy, which was that purple shade under my eyes. And then now I am using the Bury Me Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick. Now I usually don't wear lipstick you guys just because I do have very small lips. And I feel like they're accentuated whenever I use lipstick. So I stick with nudes and lip glosses or lip balm. But I have to tell you I actually really like this color. I like how it looked with my skin tone. How the overall look came out. So this is a look for today's video you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, 
and subscribe to my channel click the notification bell and I will see you guys on my next video bye